so we have already seen the extraction of iron the complete process please go through all the uh, link topics in iron so now uh, this is the quite common question which is asked so let us see what do we see in your blast furnace after following the different zones in the blast furnace we have finally got two things one is your molten slag that floats or uh, above the uh, molten metal now that metal which we collected is called pig iron now they've asked us what is the difference between pig iron and cast iron right let us write the difference now your pig iron your cast iron it doesn't so when i speak about pig iron from where do we get we have got pig iron from uh, after a series of reactions in the blast furnace so let us write that obtained after a series of reactions in blast furnace okay right <clears throat> cast iron how do i obtain i can obtain cast iron when i pick up this pig iron just observe pig iron plus your scrap iron plus your coke what is the role of coke here coke is acting as a reducing agent when i heat all these three in the blast of air means i am going to introduce a roasted blast of air when i try to roast all these i am going to get cast iron that is your component so this these are the three important components of cast iron now second important thing why am i not writing iron okay iron the next important thing pig iron contains 4% carbon so because of this 4% carbon i can easily <clears throat> mold it into toys or you know whichever shape it's not so hard as cast iron cast iron is very hard so whichever you if you want to make uh, agriculture implements or hard very hard things like your hammers and all these we try to use cast iron because if it's it's very hard as it is brittle also right because of the percentage now 4% carbon in pig iron and 3% carbon in cast iron i'm just writing the differences now when i speak about the impurities pig iron along with this uh, 4% carbon it also has impurities as we have seen in the blast furnace silica isn't it it has silica as an impurity it has phosphorus as an impurity it has uh, sulfur as an impurity yes it has manganese also as impurity yes certain traces of uh, manganese also are present right so uh, when i speak about cast iron as i said 3% carbon perfect it's used as i've mentioned already uh, for the uses of uh, your cast iron and pig uh, wrought iron yes so you can just see like this is if i say 3% carbon hence it is hard and brittle these are the uses which i have listed out please note it and uh, let us meet again with your extraction of aluminium so this is done with your iron this is more than enough for your ncbsc uh, preparation for your board exam